to do this. Okay, say hi to Chris. Hi, hi to say hi to Chris and Becky. Hi. So just, just pick, pick two tables right in front of the table. Look at me! Thank you. 
to partake of. Father, we thank you for the celebration event that we were privileged to witness. We know that you were there and you blessed the promises that Christopher and Rebecca have made to each other. We also know that you are God who loves to celebrate with your people. You have blessed weddings, you have sanctioned celebrations, and we ask now that you would do so at this moment and in this place, at the food that we now eat together with one another, food that you have created for our pleasure and our sustenance, that it would feed us and remind us constantly of your provision. We ask that there would be a spirit of celebration in this place, of laughter and joy and happiness and hope and faith for a future that Rebecca and Christopher have laid into your hands. We pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I work garlic and mayonnaise. We've got some kind of marinated chicken and wild rice and mm, white so good breads and cheeses. Ooh, it's in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hospital, sir. Hi. Hi. The light's not on. I know, the light's broken, I think. It's recording? Yep. Chris and, Chris and Ben are super fun. He's been a travel companion, a roommate. Um, he's been a brother. Sometimes he's been like a mother to me too. But <laughs> but best of all, he's uh, been one of my dearest friends. And I guess because of him, uh, I can contribute to a lot of the uh, a lot of things that I've done in my life. He's been a great. Uh, inspirational person to me, and uh, I love him dearly. And over the years, I've given a lot of advice to Chris, whether he wanted it or not, I gave it to him, and he's given me a lot of advice. So I guess on this day, I want to give him a little bit more of advice, and he knows this won't be the last of it either. They say uh, success is not a destination, but a journey. And so I guess today I want to tell you, have a good journey, Chris. Cheers. I'm the maid of honor. Um, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm not big on the whole speech thing. So it's going to be short and sweet. Um, I just want to say good luck. Honestly, I mean, I said that. I want to wish you luck, and I hope that all of your dreams, your hopes, everything, your ambitions come true. It's, I'm stuck. But good luck. I... From the bottom of my heart, honestly, I mean that I want, I wish nothing but the best for you guys, and I wish you a lot of happy life. <laughs> it was May of 1996, five, seven, six or seven. We were at a coffee house called Monkey Beans in Hopkins, 
doing a show, and I happened to notice that um, Chris, this is when Chris first met Becky, and it was, it was hilarious because I saw it. I mean, his eyes were, was on her the whole evening, and I go, oh no, this is it. This is it. <laughs> I saw it from the very beginning, and I hope someday to see it to the very end. Here's you. A few words on behalf of Rebecca and I. This has been an incredible day for the both of us, and we just wanted to say thank you in, in sharing in this with us. This has been a moment where, as I look around the room, we, we are trying to soak this in as much as possible, but it's, we're going to be thinking about this time for years and years. As I look at your faces and smiles, um, you are the people that are sharing in the start of our new life, and I hope that uh, we can continue to share in that life with you. Please continue to keep Rebecca and I in your prayers, and once again, thank you for joining us here. Hi Becky and Chris, um, we just wanted to tell you, <laughs> give you a few words and tell you that we're very thankful to be here and Becky I just wanted to thank you for doing my hair and I can't wait to catch you in your back <laughs> from your honeymoon for another round. <laughs> Chris, I also want to thank you for having us here and thank you for your friendship over the years and especially our trips to England and we invite you to come over anytime you want to come get us and go down to the pub. I just want to say thanks for inviting me to the wedding and I'm having a lot of fun and you two are so nice, you're so nice people, I'm so happy to know you. And then when you come back you have to invite us over to your house in St. Paul Yay. on your next birthday party. Yay. But yeah, we're going to go eat cake. <laughs> that was a good ending. We're going to go eat cake. Okay. Should we kiss on this too? Hello. Hello. You guys already have us on video, but here we are again. Um, we've been doing this for 15 years, and it does get even better than this, so we can say that. Congratulations, and we're very excited for you. Have fun. Have babies. <laughs> <laughs> solid heavy beer and as it matures and gets older it gets better and better. And um, I see that happening with our friendship. First when I met you, um, I thought you were a funny, pleasing, clever fellow. Um, and I never anticipated the friendship that, that we now share. And I described you the other day as, uh, as one of the most emotional, intelligent friends that I've had. I feel honored to call you a friend of mine, and once again, thank you to be part of this, for allowing me to be part of this, and I wish you the best in life to come, and you guys truly, truly encompass what a, a happy relationship is about, and it's a pleasure to see. So once again, thank you, and good luck. Yes, we did. 
No, you didn't. They went to Perkins. They went to Perkins and Perkins. Good luck in the future. We love you. Good luck, guys. Thanks. All right. Hi, Topher. It's Lisa. Um, I don't know. Since third grade, we've known each other. I can't believe this day has come. But congratulations, and I wish you both all, all the loving that you can contain yourself with. I don't know what to say. Good luck. There I you love go. you. Two of, your, two of your good friends from England. It's been a it's been a fun nine months in England for sure. A lot of memories. It's always fun to look back at that and reminisce. Uh, I can't count the number of times that you took goofy pictures with me. If I ever needed somebody to pose, you were always there. Um, somebody wiping out, twisting their ankle. I can't count how many times you did that also. So it's been a good time. Uh, stay in touch and good luck to the both of you. Hi, Chris. We love you. And let's see, I was going to say something really brilliant to you. And that was that, that I suppose there's no chance of having us rotate holidays anymore. You used to come every other holiday to our house. So I guess you've got your own family now. Bye. We love yeah. you. Bye, Chris. See you later. Well, we're the Bowers, and I'm very honored to be at the wedding. We've known the family for over 30 years, and we've watched these kids grow up, and uh, very pleased to be here. Do you want to say something to Chris and Becky? Okay. Do you want to say hi? Say congratulations. Can you say congratulations?
Would you want a minute? Okay. Okay. How, how loud do I speak? That's probably okay. Uh, Christopher and Becky, Grandpa and I just want to say this is probably one of the most beautiful weddings we have ever attended. And of course, being Grandpa and Grandma, it was even more so uh, meaningful to us. I just want to say that you have the background and the potential for having a very happy marriage. And I know that God is going to be with you and help you through. And there will be some rough spots. There always are. But uh, with your faith in God and making God a center of your home and of your marriage, uh, Grandpa and I have no doubt but what your marriage will be a very successful and happy one. We, we are just so thankful that we could both be together and attend your wedding today. God bless you both. Hi, Chris and Becky. This is Grandma Zach, and I want you to know that I love you very much. This has been the end of a long, busy day, and I know you're tired, and I am too. But just remember, I love you, and I wish you all the best. Her and Becky, on this, your wedding evening, I thought we might give you some advice. I thought we might tell you to do what Daryl and I did on our wedding day. Are you ready for this? Well, here it comes. <laughs> hey, Chris, we gave you a chance to back out just before the wedding. You said, no, I'm going through with this. Too late now. But since you decided to go ahead with it, make the best of it. Enjoy it. Love Rebecca. Remember to get up every morning, go to work, so you can uh, keep her in the lifestyle to which she is going to become accustomed. Enjoy your trip to Ireland. Northwest is set to strike so you can get back to Philadelphia. And uh, have a long, happy, happy uh, We love you both. We've made it 35 years. You can do at least that. Bye. Hi, Chris and Rebecca. Congratulations. It's a beautiful, beautiful wedding. And Chris, I was just thinking, we kind of grew up together and all the things that we did as kids and fishing up at the cabin and everything. I never dreamed that I'd be going to your wedding and that you'll probably be coming to mine. And, wondering what's going to happen in the future, what all kinds of things we're going to experience together as we get older. And I'm so happy to have Rebecca and the family to share it with us. Love you both. Hi, Becky and Chris. Wish you lots of luck and many, many years of happiness. Good luck.
Some other parish. We don't <laughs> We're trying to save his soul. <laughs> it's good to see him. We're working on his soul right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, maybe he needs a couple more. Paul's driving. He's driving. Maybe he does. Want to say hi? Be sure to see him. These are from Salem Lutheran Church, these people. <laughs> Where'd you be? This will be the time I wasn't leaving yet. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Becky and Chris, a beautiful wedding. And I love you both, and I wish you much happiness. But I would like to hear from you more, okay? This is Auntie Mars. <laughs>